Hi! Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll show you how to install N8N on a VPS, as a self-hosted solution. N8N is an open-source automation tool that allows you to automate tasks and workflows without writing any code. It integrates with various services and tools, including AI capabilities, enabling you to create complex workflows for automating repetitive tasks and enhancing productivity with AI-driven processes. Here are the specifications of the VPS I'm using. It runs Debian 12, has 2 GB of RAM, and a 20 GB disk size. It's a relatively small setup, but it should still be enough for running an 8N. The first step is to update and upgrade the system packages. This ensures that your system is up to date with the latest security patches and software versions. Next, we create a swap file to improve performance. This will act as virtual memory when RAM is full. After creating and activating the swap file, we add it to the slash etc slash fs tab to make it persistent after a reboot. Next, we install essential packages including app transport HTTPS, CA certificates, curl, and GNUPG. These packages are necessary for secure package installation and managing HTTPS sources. The process may take some time as it ensures your system has the right tools to securely fetch and verify packages over HTTPS, which is critical for the installation of other software like N8N. Next, we create a directory for Keerings and download Docker's GPG key. This ensures that the packages we install from Docker are trusted. We then adjust the permissions so the key can be used by the system. Next, we add Docker's official repository to the system sources list, ensuring that we can install Docker from the correct source. Now, we update the package list to include the newly added Docker repository. After that, we proceed to install Docker and its related components, including the Docker engine, Docker Say, Docker CLI, Docker Say CLI, Containered, Container.io, Docker Builds plugin, and Docker Compose plugin. These tools are essential for managing containers, running applications in isolated environments, and simplifying the process of creating and managing multi-container applications. Docker Compose, in particular, allows you to define and run multi-container Docker applications using a single YAML configuration file, making it easier to manage complex setups. The installation may take some time as it fetches and installs all the necessary packages, ensuring that Docker is fully functional on your system. Finally, to verify that Docker is installed correctly and running, we use the sudo docker run hello world command. This command runs a test container that outputs a hello from Docker. Message, confirming that Docker is properly installed and can run containers. If you see this message, it means everything is set up and Docker is ready to use. This step helps ensure that the Docker service is up and running without any issues. Next, we create a directory for N8N data and run N8N in a Docker container. We set memory limits, expose port 5678 for access, and enable basic authentication. The data is persisted in the tilde slash N8N underscore data directory. To make sure the N8N container is running properly, we use Docker PS to list all active containers. This helps us confirm that the container is up and listening on the correct port. If we want to check the output or troubleshoot any issues, we can use Docker Logs N8N to view the container's logs. This is useful for seeing if the service started successfully or if there are any error messages. To test if N8N is accessible from the browser or network, we can use the curl command followed by the server's IP and port. This checks if the N8N service is responding properly on port 5678. A successful response indicates that the installation was successful and N8N is now running on your VPS. When opening N8N in the browser, you might see a warning about secure cookies. This happens because we're not using HTTPS. You can fix it by either adding HTTPS later or temporarily disabling the secure cookie by setting N8N underscore secure underscore cookie equals false. To fix the secure cookie warning, we remove the existing N8N container and run it again with an extra environment variable. N8N underscore secure underscore cookie equals false. This tells N8N to skip the secure cookie check, which is normally used when accessing over HTTPS. It allows us to open the N8N interface using just the IP and port without issues. After refreshing the browser, you should now see the setup owner account page. Here, you'll need to complete the initial setup by entering your email address, full name, and a password. Once everything is filled in, click next to proceed. Next, you'll be prompted with the customize N8N to you form. Here, 
Fill in the details such as your company name, role, and other relevant information. Once done, click Get Started to proceed. On the next form, click Send me a free license key to receive your free license. The license key will be sent to your email. Next, go to the username in the bottom left corner and click on Settings. In the Settings menu, navigate to Usage and Plan, and select Enter Activation Key. Enter the license key you received via email. After activation, your N8N installation will be registered as the Community Edition. This provides you with access to all the essential features of N8N, including unlimited workflows and integrations, while also ensuring you're using the latest updates and support available for the Community Edition. Once the activation is complete, you can start exploring N8N by clicking on Test a Simple AI Agent Example. This will give you a hands-on demonstration of how N8N can be used to create automated workflows that integrate with AI services. It's a great way to get a feel for how N8N connects different tools and data sources, automating tasks and processes without the need for extensive coding knowledge. That's it. You've successfully installed and activated N8N. Now you can start automating your workflows and explore all the powerful features it offers. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.